Welcome back to the channel guys. This thing is one of the nastiest and dirtiest trucks I have ever cleaned or cars for that matter. And with that being said, I need to make sure you guys like, share, and if you aren't subscribed, subscribe down below so that way you don't miss out on videos just like this to get that detail and motivation, but also hopefully to learn a thing or two about detailing. Now as I pull out all the trash in the vehicle and get it kind of ready for the vacuuming stage, I want you guys to comment down below, like when you're detailing or doing something super focused, whether it's work or school or whatever, what do you listen to? I like to listen to Joe Rogan podcast or Bigger Pockets con uh, podcast when I'm detailing. I also have a Shopify, or Shopify, Spotify playlist that I listen to as well that's got like pretty much 2000s punk rock and stuff like that that I grew up with. That is what I listen to. Um, let me know in the comments below. What do you guys listen to when you're like focused on a task or you just need to work? What do you listen to? Let me know. So as I'm pulling out the seats and everything out of the truck and I get closer and closer to like the fabric and stuff like that, I'm starting to notice how bad this thing smells. I really do think that with all the pet hair inside this thing, there had to be some accidents that happened in the back seat, on the seats, on the carpet everywhere because I mean it started to smell more and more like dog urine the more I detailed and the farther I got along in this process.
Now, I always mention that vacuuming is such a big portion of the detail and it kind of shows it does take a lot of work. I usually have my hands hurt afterwards just because of the amount of pressure that you're applying to try to get as much of that dirt removed as possible. And then the final step in this detail in particular is I'm using the Foxtail Pet Detailing Brush, as you can see here, to remove any loose fibers of carpet, but this is all pet hair for this, this truck in particular. And you can see how much was removed from just this one little portion. And if you haven't already, for Black Friday special, I'm running a 35% discount on your entire order at foxclean.com. So if you haven't gone over there already, make sure you check it out. Make sure you pick up your microfiber towels, detailing brushes, pet hair brushes. All that's over there for you guys. So I'll have that link in the description box below. Now with the carpet's all cleaned up, I'm gonna be moving to the door panels. And for one of the door panels, I did bust out my torner door again to give it a shot to see how well of a job it does. A lot of you guys recommend it, and I've used it in the past, and I have one. But the one thing that I encounter is no matter what concentration of all-purpose cleaner or air pressure, when it comes to some of these textured door panels or, or door panels that are this dirty, it never does good enough job. Whereas if you're just doing it with a detailing brush by hand, you can get into every crack and crevice and see a lot better where the dirt is embedded. Whereas with this, it kind of just gets everything wet and you kind of miss dirt spots. So I tried it with this door panel. I did have to go back over it again with detailing brushes. It is a great tool, but I feel like there's certain limitations. Whereas if you just do it by hand, sometimes it works out better for me in particular.
Now with all that plastic and everything kind of cleaned above the carpets, I try to do those so that way there's no dirt from the dashboard or I'm not stepping on the clean carpets um, when I'm cleaning the dashboard or door panels. I'm still using the DIY extractor and I'm, you know, I still have a mighty on my wish list of extractors I want to pick up, but I've had really, really good luck with this DIY extractor, which is why I think in an upcoming video, one, I'm going to show you how to build one, but in another video coming up, I might just put a whole kit together and do a giveaway for December, kind of leading into Christmas as a way to give back to you guys. So be on the lookout for that. And the easiest way to know when that drops is just to make sure you subscribe and you have those notifications turned on. So that way you see those new videos.
Now, a lot of you've been asking about the different products I use, whether it's the all-purpose cleaner or the ceramic sprays or you know the, the leather conditioner and cleaner. I'm very excited to announce that coming up very, very soon in the next week or so, I will be dropping new products on foxclean.com. I'll have pre-orders up. It's gonna be limited quantities up front as volumes increase. But if you're definitely looking for getting some of those products that just honestly just destroy any dirt they come in contact with and just do an excellent job, make sure you're on the Fox Clean uh, mailing list because they will be the first ones to get the opportunity to pick up those products. And as they come in, they'll come into stock. But definitely be on the lookout for those. I'm super excited about it. It's been something I've been working on for a really long time with figuring out the right formula, concentration, colors, scents, everything. And we're finally getting to the point where that's becoming a reality. So be on the lookout for those products on foxclean.com. They're well worth the wait, I promise.
So with these seats um, going through the whole cleaning process and very shortly you're going to see the extraction stage from these seats and they are by far the best extraction shots and best extractions I've ever done with the amount of dirt removed with also how well they look afterwards. But that kind of goes to the whole idea of how much labor is involved with one of these details. For this truck in particular, just to do the interior from start to finish was about 6.5 hours. And it might not seem like a ton of work, but when you're constantly on your feet, you're constantly pulling things out, everything else, it definitely wears on your body and kicks your butt. Um, for me in particular, it wore on me. And, you know, lately one thing that I've done to help myself out is, you know, besides eating right, working out, sleeping, all those simple things that you can think of is one of the best game changers that I've done is going to a chiropractor. I don't know if any of you guys go to a chiropractor or not, but for me in particular, it was a game changer. It's, it was one of those things that uh, even after my first adjustment, I felt so much better. My neck, I could turn it, everything, like my back didn't hurt as much and I could sleep better. It was, uh, it was a game changer for me. So I don't know if any of you guys have ever used a chiropractor or not, but for me, it was something new that I have never tried and it, it was honestly one of the best things I've ever done.
Now with all these seats being extracted and finished up, I do wanna kinda of let you guys know how do I dry these trucks? In particular for me in Ohio right now, we're down to about the 30 or 40 degree temperature ranges of Fahrenheit. Um, so it's getting kinda of cold, but the easiest way to dry anything in my opinion, if you don't have a heated shop, is just to get airflow over the seats. So for me, I just have a couple box fans that go on the seats, and then I have one that sprays air or blows air into the uh, inside of the, the cab of the truck to get the carpets dry. And that's the easiest way, and I just let it sit overnight for about six, seven hours, and by the morning, I'd say it's 90% dry. There's always a little bit more left that kind of dries over time, but that is what I've found to be the easiest way to get these things dry. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed today's detail. This is one of my favorite transformations. It was also one of the hardest trucks to clean just because of the dirt involved and how hard it was to get into every nook and cranny. Uh, for me, one thing I struggle with sometimes is there's always more I could do, but sometimes after you know six and a half hours for this detail, sometimes you just have to you know use the 80-20 principle, figure out where the biggest spots are, take 
you know, make sure you clean all those because I could have torn this whole truck apart and still miss dirt, which is the craziest thing about it. Sometimes they're just so dirty that you never get every single piece of dirt out. But I would say that this thing is definitely um, almost a showroom quality, able to be sold, and somebody would not even know that there was this much dirt in this truck. So thanks again, guys, for watching today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you guys next week.